This series of videos is about HVAC scams. I was a service tech for 35 years. I worked with a lot of people that did good work, uh, had a lot of knowledge, and had to be paid for it. That's not what this is about. This is about those few that take advantage of people's lack of knowledge, sell them things they don't need, sell them repairs they don't need, sometimes scare them to death. This is what this is about. Okay, this one is, I can send out a salesman today or I can send out a service tech tomorrow or the next day. If you hear that from dispatch, run. He should not be attempting to sell you a furnace before he even has any idea what's wrong, if anything is wrong with it. Sometimes the uh, power switch is turned off. They should be telling you that on the phone. But beware of a company that immediately wants to send a salesman out to determine if you should get a new furnace. What you're going to have is a salesman that's going to come out there, and, and I'm really not griping about salesmen. I mean, they're here for a reason. They oftentimes sell, sell you the product that you need, so I'm really not coming down on salesmen. But when someone wants to sell you something before they want to fix it, then I think you have a problem. Let's say your furnace is 10 years old and there's a problem with it and you end up with a salesman out there. Uh, he says, well, you haven't maintained your furnace, so it's not going to last, so we better throw it away now. Now, a 10-year-old furnace, you know, that's not very old. The furnace in my house is 10 years old. The furnace in my house is almost 20 years old. Uh, and I got no problems with it at all. Well, I'm not saying you shouldn't maintain the furnace. I think it's a great idea to maintain the furnace. Primarily what maintenance of a furnace is for is safety. To be sure there's nothing going on in that furnace that would cause it to be unsafe, maybe cause a fire. So, the safety is a primary thing on servicing a furnace. So if someone comes out and says, well, you haven't maintained this furnace, and so uh, the blower motor is going to fail, or the inducer that's right there is going to fail, or the burners are dirty and they're going to fail, all that stuff, I don't know, I'm a little antsy about that stuff. Uh, most of the furnaces built in the last 25 years, there's no oiling on any of the motors. You can't oil the inducer. You can't oil the circulating fan blower. They're all sealed bearing. So there's really no maintenance there. Uh, and that's a longevity issue. You know, if there were oilers on this and they weren't oiled, yeah, the bearings could dry out and it could fail. Same thing with this blower. But if there's no oilers on them, you couldn't oil them anyway. You could check the bearings when you're there, and maybe you'll find something that's ready to fail, and there's nothing in the world wrong with that. But remember, a furnace that was not maintained, and these modern type furnaces, if they're not maintained, they will probably still last pretty close to the same as uh, one that's been maintained every year. It's just the one that's maintained every year has had all the safeties checked, all the bearings checked. You know, they've looked over the furnace to be sure there's nothing really terrible going on with this furnace. And remember, most of these furnaces have so many safeties on them that they pretty much shut down when an unsafe condition starts. Like you got a plug filter, most common thing out there, they shut down. And they won't, uh, they won't overheat. So that there was a uh, video that I used to use in my classes uh, on the internet. I can't find it anymore, but it was a sales class, 
and they the dispatcher says well yeah we could get a service guy out there tomorrow but we can get a sales guy out there today and then he comes out and he looks at a 10 year old furnace and he says oh you got to replace this thing you know it's not in really terrible shape or anything but you know because you haven't maintained it uh, it's you know it's it's ready to blow up or it's ready to die or something like that and uh, just selling him on something like that that's just a sales tactic there's nothing else to it as with all of these videos if you have questions or comments put them in the comment section I'll get back to you as soon as I can and I'll try to help <laughs>